Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to address you today. A journey that began, that began 12 years ago reached an important milestone this morning with Guyana's election to the, Uni to the United Nations Security Council. My government is extremely grateful for the firm support received from member states. We wish to express our profound gratitude to member states of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, and GRULAC, and the United Nations for supporting our candidacy and for their offers of support, advice, and encouragement. We affirm that Guyana's tenure will be guided by a firm adherence to the rule of international law and the Charter of the United Nations. Our engagement as a council member will be aimed at contributing constructively to the mandates and to enhancing the well-being of our world's people. The international security landscape today is extremely complex. Threats to global security and rising crises are proliferating. These challenges must be carefully managed through adherence to international law trust building and dialogue. In addressing them, GAN will work with all council members and the wider United Nations to contribute useful ideas and encourage partnership. In this family of nations, we each have diverse experiences and strengths and can bring these to bear in securing our common future. GAN intends to bring its strengths and experiences to work, to the work of the Council, with a view of making a meaningful contribution to the lives of the people impacted by its work. We are very proud of the representation provided by Her Excellency Ambassador Carolyn Rodriguez Burkett and her team here at the United Nations in New York. We also thank our team at headquarters, led by our ambassador, George Talbot and team. We also want to thank the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for their support and guidance throughout the process. And for all of those well-wishers all around the world, we say thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Ambassador. Would you tell us exactly what is your position vis-a-vis -vis the suffering of the Palestinian people under so many years of occupation? Palestinian people? Yeah. Well, of course, we have a principal position on that. We believe in a two-state solution, of course, and for the UN process to take effect. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.